a line that cuts something exactly in half. So if you folded over the line, it would be on top of each other. Be on top of itself. I'm pretty sure that if I ever was on my Promethean, it would be a lot better definition than that, but whatever. All right, so for example, the letter A, where would its axis of symmetry be, or line of symmetry? Right down through that center, all right? If I fold over that green line, it would fold on top of itself, okay? All right, what is an axis of symmetry? It's the line that cuts a parabola in half. And actually, instead of line, put vertical line. Oops. It's a vertical line that cuts a parabola in half. Okay. So, for example, where do you think the axis of symmetry is for this parabola? It's right down the center. See, fi basically find the vertex, and it's this line right here. It's this green line. So that's your axis of symmetry. If you fold over the line, it's going to be w on top of itself. All right? Okay. Next. All right, so let's graph some more. So we have negative x squared plus 4x minus 1. All right, so now, first we're going to, I gave you the middle number. The middle number is 2. What number comes right before 2? 1, 0, 3, and 4. And then check. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Check that that's right. You should be able to do this. All right. And then we're going to plug in again. So negative. Now watch that negative in front. It makes a big difference. Well, for 0, it's not. But in general, that is going to make a big difference. Negative 1 squared. 4 times 1 minus 1. I do not put these parentheses for my health. Parentheses are important. Parentheses are important. I do not do this for no reason. I don't want you making silly mistakes. Please write them in. It should look exactly like I wrote it. Now when you put it in the calculator, make sure this is a negative and this is a subtraction. The calculator treats them differently, all right? What's this first one going to be? Again, whenever you plug 0 in, the x's go away, and you're left with negative 1. Right? Now I'm going to plug the 1 in. Per negative. Make sure that's a negative, all right? That's a negative. That's a subtraction. Negative 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 1. See how this is small and this is big? That does make a difference. So that's a 2. Do it again. Again, we can hit second enter. And then I'm plugging 2 in this time. 2, 2, 3. Now, what should the next number be when I plug in? I should get a 2. If I don't get a 2, we have a problem. Please be a 2. Yay, it's a 2. And then that last one should be negative 1. Plugging in 4, 4, negative 1. Okay, so now I'm plotting those points. I'm going to plot those points. So I have 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, negative 1. So what happened in this one? It's upside down. Why do you think that happened? Because a negative in front of the x. When the when your a is negative, your parabola is upside down. All right. What's the vertex of my parabola? 
this point. What is that point? That's your middle one, two, three. Right here in the middle, that's always your vertex. We always put that in the middle. So my vertex is two comma three. And then what's my axis of symmetry? What is that vertical line? It's right here, this dotted line. I'm going to draw it right through the center. What's the equation of a vertical line? x equals 2. x equals 2. It's always x equals this number. And that's it. So when there's a negative in front of x squared, the parabola is upside down. Let's do one more. negative x squared minus 8x minus 10. Is this going to be upward facing or downward facing? What do you think? Down, uh, downward. How do you know? There's a negative in front of x squared. All right. So automatically, because of this, I know my graph is going to be up.